Have you ever been deep into a project only to realize you forgot something crucial in a file? We've all been there. So let's learn how to prevent this from happening to us again. While the tabs at the top of your screen are helpful, they can be a little bit overwhelmed. Instead of searching for a certain tab, let's use our ID. One convenient way to find certain files is using the recent files window. It gives you a nice list of all the files you have visited recently. It is automatically sorted in the order you have visited them, which makes going back so much easier. Well, that is already a great improvement, but we can do even better than this. What if the file you're looking for is at the very bottom? Well, sure, we could press arrow down like a hundred times, or worse, use the mouse, Always just type directly into the window, which lets you search for a particular file. Wouldn't it be nice if you could narrow it to only the files you have edited, not all you visited? In the upper right corner, you see Show Edited Only File. This will help you remove some clutter and hide the files you visited without doing any changes. And you can even open a certain file in the split window to have a look at multiple files at the same time by clicking on the icon on the right side or pressing Shift Enter. I even got one more for you. Let's go check it out. If we look to the left side of our recent files window, we see all the amazing tools we recently used. You want to jump to the terminal? Just type in TER and it will take you right there. Development is hard. And having a good overview of your edited files can be difficult. Luckily, our IDs make navigation really convenient.